Now, through crowdsourcing and citizen science initiative is proving to be impactful. These initiatives not only generate valuable information and data, but empower society to tackle some of the most difficult challenges such as disaster risk education reduction and monitoring the progress towards the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Collaboration is an inevitable feature of the 21st century science, technology and innovation. The new economy is driven by knowledge and enabled by fast-paced technology and digital connectivity, allowing radical sharing of ideas across borders. Furthermore, collaboration enables risk sharing, lowering the risk and barriers faced by each player. This also reduces reluctance to participate in innovative and innovative initiatives and makes it easier to enter new global markets. The future is about creating a shared value ecosystem that paves the way for effective collaboration among partners. It is most important for Malaysia to be well positioned in the global STI landscape by tapping on national and international networks. This would enable Malaysia to gain influence and strategic advantage in the global arena. One key reflection of a nation's innovative and entrepreneurial spirit is the robustness of its startup ecosystem, in, in particular, technology-based startups. Startups apply creatively the market information and data, as well as science and technology knowledge to roll out products and services that are unique and differentiated. Startups can also lead the way to effectively utilize, to effectively utilize emerging technologies to realize value creation and innovation. Collaborative approaches are vital to building a dynamic startup ecosystem, especially when it comes to financing models and risk sharing so that startups can have an appropriate safety net without having their creativity and passion stifled. Many successful startups learn from initial failures, but in our ecosystem and culture, we are quick to penalize failures rather than provide them time, funds and opportunities to success. In some countries now, when it comes to financing startups, financial institutions require applicants to show that they have at least failed twice at previous ventures before they can be considered. They have learned to celebrate failures to spur innovation. What about us? It is time we do things differently. Lessons can only be learned when mistakes are made. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia needs to raise its game to be competitive. In order to bring Malaysia's economic sector to the next level, we must ensure the proliferation of knowledge-intensive enterprises that leverage on science and technology. We need to re-engineer our innovation ecosystem for SDI to thrive not only now but in the future. Effective and robust innovation ecosystem for the new economy need to be equally, ad equally addressed enterprise innovation as well as social innovation. In shaping a progressive Malaysia that is harmonious, prosperous, and sustainable, we need to understand the forces of change and facilitate the development of knowledge enterprises enabled by STI 
that can prosper in a diverse world. I look forward to the new national policy on SDI 2020 to 2030 and the SDI, SDI master plan that is being developed by the Ministry of Energy, Science and Technology, Environment and Climate Change through the Academy of Sciences Malaysia. I hope the policy and the master plan will serve as an effective governance tool to ensure we become more integrated and collaborative towards making Malaysia a scientifically advanced nation. Malaysia also needs to invest in nurturing the workforce of the future, in particular by developing science, technology, engineering and mathematics, mathematical talents. They in turn must develop skills such as critical thinking, problem solving, communications and adaptability, among others. We must attune ourselves to leveraging emerging technologies such as machine learning, blockchain technology, and quantum computing. We must be strategic about facilitating and deploying these technologies in Malaysia. In particular, the right talent should be mobilized to develop homegrown products and services that leverage on these technologies. The Academy of Sciences Malaysia has a huge role to play in propelling idea creation as well as monitoring and evaluation of our SDI landscape. I hope ASM will continue to provide valuable input towards charting the course towards a progressive Malaysia. I wish to take this opportunity to congratulate the newly appointed senior fellow, elected fellows, and the selected top research scientists of Malaysia that will be that has been honored today. I look forward to your valuable contribution to the advancement of STI. I wish to commend the Academy of Sciences Malaysia for your passion and persistence to champion STI. Through the many phases of your contribution, you have made a mark as a significant voice for STI in this nation and beyond. I thank you.